Our mineral collection is arranged according to the Dana system, and that is a system based on the chemistry of the particular minerals. So that way all similar kinds of minerals are going to be found together in the same part of the collection, which makes it very accessible for scientists. Not very good for the public, but good for scientists. And so, for example, in this part of the collection, we're dealing with silicates. And one of the more dramatic silicates in terms of just crystals and color and gems is, of course, the mineral barrel. So, Russ, why don't we open a couple of the barrel drawers here and we can just give an idea of how the collection is laid out. Yeah. So, each of the specimens gets a box and then within the box, each specimen has a number on it. And that's keyed to a computerized database, which allows us to keep track of where everything is and what's been studied and what's been done with it. And so, of course, with barrel, we can see this wonderful variety of not just crystal sizes and shapes, but also all the different colors that make barrel such a popular mineral in the, the gem world. So the blue greens, the aquamarines, this big aquamarine crystal here, to the pink morganites, the greens in emerald, and the more golden colored heliodors, so all the natural colors of beryl. Well, let's see, in this drawer, um, we're in the, within a particular mineral, we've arranged our collection alphabetically by locality. So we're in the, the first drawer, I think here, yeah, first, yeah, of the barrels. So we're in the A's to B's, so places like Afghanistan and Brazil, and in fact, we've got pretty much a, a domination here by Brazil, which is where a lot of the uh, the barrel gems come from. Now, Russ, let's take a look at the next yeah. drawer here. All right. Okay. So here we still are we've got some Brazil, but we also get into Burma, then California, and of course Morganites, which are originally found in uh, California, and some emeralds from Colombia into the seas. And then continuing on, we also get into Notice we always pull a drawer out underneath just in case so we don't uh, have, an, have an accident here. And so then we get into, you know, we also have the states mixed in with the countries again alphabetically. So we've got some uh, aquamarines from Colorado and then we get into Ireland and Italy and Mozambique and Namibia and on and on throughout the world. And I'll bet you this really nice dark one here is probably, was this? Is this uh, yeah, Mozambique? Yeah. Well, this is a, a morganite crystal, or at least uh, most of a morganite crystal from Mozambique. And you can see the, it's a really nice deep pink color, more so than uh, the typical morganites. Well, this is a fairly new locality compared to, to many. This is from a place called Orongo in Namibia in the southern part of Africa. And so we have this nice striking contrast between the aquamarine crystals, the green barrel, the black shoral variety of tourmaline, which actually I think turns out to be foitite, doesn't it? They, I think when they analyze it, it turns out that it may not all of it is shoral, it's a slightly different chemical composition. And then uh, the white elbite. 